From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. It looks tranquil, but here along the banks of Africa's Lake Victoria, looks can be deceiving. Some 30 million people crowd the lake shores, dependent on its vital water source. But this vast resource is in trouble. It's become a dumping ground for human waste and other pollutants, threatening many of those living in the poorest communities here in Kampala, in Uganda. People like Helen Oyela, a mother of nine. Six of Helen's children were stricken with cholera, a disease caused by consuming contaminated water or food. But Helen was a widow and too poor to pay for their medical care. I had no choice but to watch my children die. Every 20 seconds, experts say, somewhere in the world, a child dies of a water-related disease, like cholera, typhoid, and diarrhea, the second leading cause of death among children under five years old. What do you use the water for? Chris Kanyesigye, with Uganda's National Water and Sewerage Corporation, says okay. contaminated water taken from the lake is largely to blame for the spread of these diseases. Compounding the problem is lack of sanitation, made worse by rapid urban growth. In the last decade alone, Kampala's population has more than doubled. Many, like Helen, arrived in record numbers after escaping decades of conflict in northern Uganda. She lives in Namuongo, one of the lakeshore settlements where there are 20 public toilets for 10,000 people. So that brings a problem with the water quality, especially when you have pit latrines on top of the hills, and then people are collecting water downstream. Abu Baker Wandera is Uganda's national coordinator with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. But I think it's the reality and we need to make some action. We need to do something. Chris and his team take water samples six days a week to monitor water quality. Green algae and black sludge are clear signs of pollution. The pH is 9.23. The total dissolved solids, 258. Levels of human waste in the lake are actually higher than water levels. And what's happening here is not unusual, experts say. Worldwide, a staggering 90% of wastewater in developing countries is discharged untreated, polluting the world's rivers, lakes and seas. But efforts are underway in Uganda to reverse conditions. Many in smaller lakeshore communities, with support from UNDP, are now using ecological toilets and turning human waste into fertilizer, instead of it entering the water supply. It's a step that could spare Helen's three remaining children the same fate as her others, and a hope echoed by mothers around the world. This report was produced by Susan Forbes for the United Nations.